So it's the third day, you're starting to get into the swing of things, I mean, getting used to everything? Yeah, I think uh, today was one of the better skates, you know, overall. Everyone out there, it was, uh, you know, it was fast paced, high tempo, I, I compete level. You know, we were battling the corners there, and one on ones, two on ones, and I think Oliver's pretty sore after a, after a couple of days of the of the grind we have going here. You know, our hip, hip flex is a little tight, but uh, I didn't really think we thought about it out there, and you know, we battled, and it was good, uh, good high tempo practice. You're going against players that have at least a bit of NHL experience or high profile quote unquote picks. Uh, do you feel that's better to be able to? face those players and take them on in a camp like this? Yeah, for sure. You know, just, you know what to expect. What, I mean, what's at that next level? I mean, you're getting a taste of it right now. You know, you guys see guys like their Felino. You know, he's on our team. Uh, Vetrano, he's a great player. You know, Rowan, sorry, Phil. And, uh, you know, those guys that have, you know, the high caliber guys, you kind of you get a taste of, uh, you know, their skill level and what you're going to have to do as a defender, you know, to compete at the next level. And, you know, phys physically, or, you know, physicality-wise, uh, you know, I got a long ways to go. I mean, that's my that's my key over the next couple of years uh, to be able to compete with those guys and you know be able to win battles in the corners with them. Jake, how important is this camp for you? Being that you know the organization liked you enough to make you a second round pick, but this is the first time you're actually in front of them. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's pretty cool. You know, seeing all the coaches, uh, the whole organization here, the staff. You know, they're great to us. They take care of us. We've had some great meals here, and uh, you know they're pushing us to our limits. It's uh, it's good for us just in the summer to kind of kind of get that week of uh, you know high high compet or high compete level hockey. Um, you know, a lot of us I don't think have been on the ice too much. Uh, you know, a few times here and there, and it's you know summer hockey. You know, you go out there messing around. But like I said, you know, finally we're getting to the swing of things, and uh, I think tomorrow tomorrow night you're going to see a pretty uh, pretty high level of competition for the uh, the scrimmage we got going there, and uh, it's going to be fun to go out there and you know play with the other guys in the in the system. Now it's no secret that this team's defensive pool is as deep, or prospect pool is as deep as any in the league. Yeah. Does that kind of? I know you have a couple years still, but does that kind of bother you knowing that it's as deep as it is, or does it provide more motivation for more people to be? Exactly, motivation is the uh, the key word there. You know, I think uh, competition brings the best out of you, and uh, it's only gonna make you work harder. You know, I got a couple years to go here. I'm in a great spot at Wisconsin to develop. You know, we got a great. Great group of guys there, and you know we're gonna have a great team these next couple of years. So, you know, just development will take its course, and you just gotta work on getting bigger, faster, stronger. And you know, that's my focus right now. I'm not really thinking too far ahead on the, the other prospects, but I mean, we're all a great group of guys, and, uh, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Jake, as a as a D man, especially, how much did the U18 uh, experience help you? And, and especially, you know, yeah. you got a couple coaches here, who, yeah, you know, very familiar exactly. with you it's, too. It's actually it was great to see uh, Coach Rolls and Coach Cassidy. You know, I haven't seen him in a year or so, and uh, you know, it's just pretty cool to talk to him. You know, see how things have been going, and it's always nice to see a familiar face out there as well. But uh, the whole U18 process, you know, we're playing high-level competition. Uh, I played Joel Armia, Gregorenko. You know, I've played all those guys, Gergensons. So it's kind of cool just being on the uh, same ice sheet, kind of the same uh, system as them. So it just, uh, you know, it definitely helped me in my development, and I would, probably wouldn't be here without that, you know, without Coach Cass and, Rolston, uh, you know, improving my overall hockey ability. How about playing college hockey as opposed to juniors? Why did you decide to do that? Uh, you know, I never really uh, was exposed to the major junior level. Um, Education is important to me. You know, hockey's not going to be there forever. Uh, it was important to my family as well. Um, Madison's only a couple hours away from uh, my hometown, so it's nice to uh, be able to go home on the weekends. Uh, family and friends be able to watch my games and whatnot. Just a good spot for me to develop. You know, our, our strength coach is one of the best in the country over there. And uh, I'm there all summer training, and our whole team is. And like I said earlier, just I'm in a perfect spot to develop right now. we got a good role in the team, and we got a great group of guys. And uh, these next couple of years, you're going to definitely see Wisconsin at the, uh, you know, in the top ten of the country, and hopefully we can uh, bring home a national title. How your about your former teammate, Justin Schultz, a lot of attention recently. Mm -hmm. How do you think he'll fare with Edmonton? Will he step right into play? Yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't. You know, he's not, he's, <laughs> that whole Schultz watch thing kind of got blown out of proportion. And I'm good buddies with Schultz. You know, I'm, actually I was living through him, or living with him throughout that process this summer. And he's the kind of guy, he's not, he doesn't want, you know, publicity. He doesn't want that stuff to get that big, but, you know, it did. And he handled it well. You know, people are questioning his character out there, which is, Kind of ridiculous when you don't even know the kid. My, in my opinion, he's a great guy, and he's uh, he's such a competitor. He, every, I mean, every practice, he's the hardest worker out there. 
he, uh, you know, he's always pushing to be better. I mean, in every aspect of his life, I'll play golf with him. The other day, he shot a 68, you know, four under par. You know, he's a great you know, ping pong player, bowler, you know, all these things. You know, he just strives to be the best at everything. And it's, uh, I don't see why he wouldn't succeed at the next level, and I'm really excited to watch him. What'd you shoot? Oh, low 80s, mid 80s. That's good for me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this summer, um, like I said, all the guys will be on there, so I'm living with uh, him and a couple other teammates. Is he stressed, or how low was he like during the period? Uh, throughout the process, you yes. mean? Uh, he was, you know, he's pretty calm about it. You know, his, his demeanor, he goes about things like he does every day. You know, he, he's not cocky about it. He's got all the rights. You know, 26 teams are after him. You know, it's kind of not many guys get that opportunity when you're that long to sign an entry-level contract, and teams are just asking to, you know, come to us, come to us, and it's kind of a, I'm sure it was a great experience. He talked to some really cool people, you know, Wayne Gretzky, give him a call, Paul Coffey, you know, all these guys are giving him calls and, you know, trying to, you know, pull all of his limbs each and every way, but, uh, you know, he's, he talked to his family, you know, he did what he wanted to do, and Edmonton, I think it's going to be a great spot for him, he, uh, uh, they got all those young guys coming up, and they got a study system, new coach in there, and I think he's looking forward to it, and, um, you know, I think all of uh, us Wisconsin boys are excited to see him succeed. What are you looking for out of yourself this coming season? Uh, I think I'm in an increased role here, especially with the Schultz departure. Uh, I'd like to contribute a little bit more offensively. Um, I'm not going to kind of go any, anywhere outside of my ability, uh, abilities. You know, I'm not a offensive defenseman. I'm a two-way defenseman, so I'm going to, you know, stay, stay steady in my own zone, you know, shut down the play as fast as possible, and hopefully uh, – you know, get that puck up, and that's where I'm at my best. I think when I can transition up to the, uh, you know, jump in the play. I'm a penalty killer. I, you know, I join beyond the power play, and I think uh, I'll be looked upon as a little bit more of a leader this year, especially with one year into my belt. So I'm looking to give advice to younger guys, and you know, just be a, be a team guy out there.